Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Save the Cat Writes a Novel series where I'm going over the 15 beats in the book. I've already done seven videos regarding the beats and today we are going over beat number eight, which is the fun and games part of the novel. If you haven't seen the seven other videos, then the playlist is in the description box below for you guys to check out. So let's jump right into today's video. So what does the fun and games part of the novel mean? It means this is where you're going to show your readers what you told them the story was all about. So if you're telling the readers that your story is all about Christmas time and something that your main character is struggling with, this is where you're going to show them a lot of things during Christmas time or whatever it is that you have show, told the reader in the blurb that your story is about. So what you need to know about the fun and games part of the novel is that this is where you're going to show your character either succeeding or failing, either having fun or not so much fun. What it really is, is a balance of both. You don't want to show your character just having a good old time through the entire first half of the second act. You want to show them chasing a goal that you've already decided on. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch the other videos because I've touched on motivation and goal and how to set all those things for your character. But so you've already set this motivation for your character. You know what they're chasing and they're in the upside down world as we discussed. And now you're going to put them in a place where they're either succeeding or failing or rather it's going to be a combination of both. The way the author puts it in Save the Cat Writes a Novel is more of a bouncing ball. You're going to see them succeed and then you're going to see them fail. You're going to see them succeed and then you're going to see them fail because you don't want to bore the reader. You want to make it more like life. You know, we're not always just climbing. Sometimes we fall and we rise. So that's what you want for your characters. You want to make it as realistic as possible. Also, what you need to know about the fun and games part is that this doesn't mean that your character is always having fun or playing games by any means. This part can be fun, but mostly for the reader. Your character might be having a terrible time while she's in her upside down world trying to navigate this big catalyst, trying to just go on about her life in this brand new way. She doesn't have to like it. She doesn't have to be having fun but that's what this section is called it's called the fun and games part of the novel the next thing you need to know about the fun and games beat is that doesn't matter how many ups and downs your character has you need to know whether they are headed towards a path of success or a path of failure that is very important you can make them come up and come down as many times as you want however you need to know if the path is heading towards a positive outcome or a negative outcome. And the reason you need to know that is because it is crucial for the next part of your novel, which is the midpoint, which we're gonna talk about in the next video. So when you sit down to write the fun and games part of your novel, just pay attention to what it is that you're inserting in there because that's probably going to be your blurb. That's probably gonna be the things that you insert at the back of your novel because this is the, the main meat of your story. All right, you guys that is it for the fun and games part remember if you haven't watched all the other videos to go back and watch them so that you are up to date and stay tuned for the next videos remember i post every other day until no the end of november there are 15 beats in total so we have seven more to go remember to share and like and subscribe on your way out and i'll see you guys again in a brand new video in a couple days until then stay safe